from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. All right, it's still summer as we wind up August on a hot note across almost the entire United States. There isn't really any part of the country that isn't super warm with the exception of Caribou, Maine. Otherwise, a lot of upper 80s and 90s and then to get out west has been a massive heat wave. And the rain and showers and thunderstorms that were real common out to the west have really died down a lot. And so now really from the Rockies east is where we're seeing more of the rain and showers. Texas is getting a lot of showers. We have some high plain showers and thunderstorms. But for the most part, Texas, which has been just nasty hot and dry for three months all of a sudden it's turning wet and we've had flood warnings around Lubbock, Texas. We've had a few areas of showers mainly across southern Oklahoma. There's a boundary across southern Oklahoma. You pretty much just make that out based on where the rain is occurring. Nothing going on up north because it's so dry, uh, but we've had a few cells that have been a little bit heavier on the south end of Lake Eufaula. And they're just hang, kind of hanging in there and just slowly drifting to the west. Isn't much, but at least it's some additional rain. So you guys are doing all right. Around here in Tulsa, it's kind of interesting. We're at 93, but there's a heat index of 90. It's like, how do you do that? Well, that's when you have no humidity, basically. We're down to 20% humidity. Bone dry. Dew points at 46. And you contrast that with 81 is the dew point down in McAllister. This is just such a huge difference. This doesn't happen all that often. So it's pretty crazy weather right now. Of course, you might have been sneezing or sniffling. Ragweed is going through the roof at this point. Mold spore is higher wherever it's rained. Where it hasn't rained, mold spore isn't quite as high at this time. Ozone is up to 100, so it's in the unhealthy category right now. And that, again, is an ozone alert still in effect for today. So if you can hold off on mowing or filling your car with gas for a while longer, it'd be greatly appreciated. As far as looking at the ozone monitor, we're up to right at 100 out in the western parts around Manford, uh, hanging in the 70s on the north side, and then in central sections and down to the south east side. Not quite as bad because we have more of an easterly wind blowing across the area. Our temperatures now are generally in the upper 80s, low 90s. It's not too bad just because the humidity levels are low, but it's just dry for so many of us that still have missed out on rain. And down to south where the clouds have been around, we've been in the 80s this afternoon, and you see the green over there in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, the rain from uh, Texas. Now that is a an upper level disturbance that's moving to the north and northeast. So that's going to start moving in our area tomorrow. We'll be in the 60s, low 60s for you guys north tomorrow morning just because it's so dry and cool. It'll be really refreshing in the morning. If you're waiting on rain, well, there's a slight chance during the day. The better chances should be around Tulsa to the south and to the east with a few heavier downpours of rain and thunderstorms. Might even have to have the trackers out watching a few of those for the afternoon hours as well. And then by the time we get into Friday morning, upper 60s to low 70s. And then Friday afternoon, lots of high school football games will be played in the evening, but we'll generally be in the upper 80s to low 90s with hot weather out in the western part of the state in the upper 90s. Saturday will be in the low 90s with a slight chance of a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, slight chance of a few scattered showers and storms in the area. Again, upper 80s to low 90s. And Labor Day Monday, same story. So we just have multiple days with a very similar story. Monday has a little bit better chance of a few storms overall. So we're just to deal with off and on rain chances. Not much, but there is at least a few chances. And so many events coming up as well. The Cherokee National Holiday coming up this weekend on Saturday. Jim Shoulders uh, Roundup Rodeo, Rocklahoma, Jana J. Fiddle Festival, Dust Till Dawn Blues Festival, Rennysville. You get the general idea. Of course, Cowboys football, that's coming up tomorrow night. And it should be good, but there could be a few isolated showers or storms but temperatures falling in the 80s. Good night for the first game of the season. All right, 83. As we look on into this evening, dry, so it's comfortable. In the morning, we'll be about 68 in Tulsa. If you're north of Tulsa, you'll be in the low 60s. Really comfortable. Then everybody gets back in the 80s to 90s as we go through the afternoon. That chance of a shower thunderstorm better tomorrow afternoon. There's a little bit better chance if you're south and east of Tulsa right on through about Tuesday. So you guys will have the best chances of rain. And the rest of us will be just kind of hoping and praying that we see some rain, even though it's a Labor Day weekend. Yep. We'll take it whenever we can get yeah. it. Yes, at this point, we will. Thanks,